guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of the ColourPop Liquid Lipsticks Try On. If you guys missed part one, I did cover in alphabetical order. I figured it would be easier to just do it that way. Um, try on the lipsticks in alphabetical order because um, for those of you guys who are curious and just want to skip through and find the one that you're looking for, um, I did it for you guys but like I said in part two I did cover um, the liquid lippies that started with the letter B and ended with the letter K so I started with beeper I was gonna say bleeper but I started with beeper and I ended with kapow and for part two I'm gonna be starting with LAX and ending with um, trap I had to think because I had to make sure that I had my alphabets right <laughs> but um yeah so I'm going to be starting with LAX and I'm going to be ending with Trap and I'm really excited. Um, I also want to do kind of like a follow up towards the end because I don't know if there might be people who have done follow ups. I'm not really sure. I know for a fact that the ones that I've watched either tell you, you know, if they're streaky, if they're not, they tell you a little bit about the formula, if it's liquidy, you know, all that good stuff and that's great but I haven't really... Um, I haven't really like seen too many just kind of doing an update letting you guys know um, how it wears throughout the day and stuff like that and I definitely had experienced some interesting things when I wore um, the shade Kapow. I'm <clears throat> sorry guys I'm really losing my voice. Um, yesterday was really bad but Anyways, um, that is what you guys should be expecting in this video. If you guys want to follow along and see these cool, crazy, fun swatches, then feel free to keep watching. Okay, sorry guys, I had to move the hair out of the way because it was bothering me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start with LAX. And let's go ahead and take LAX out of the packaging. So this is LAX. Ooh, it's like a... Um, hold on, it's kind of hard to see to get like a good lighting angle. Um, from what I can see, it's like a brown. Um, it reminds me of like fall. Um, it reminds me of like the leaves transitioning in fall from like the yellow to like the brown, orangey kind of color. This is what this reminds me of. Now, let's see what it looks like on the lips because. They look very different <laughs> sometimes in the tube versus when they're on their lips and of course from what to dry they also look different so let's give LAX a try ooh 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 I can see already that this does not look brown at all this m looks more like a berry type of shade ooh mm. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm still on excitement mode. This is a really hard shade to apply. It's definitely more of like a vampy, um... Um, like I said, like just, I don't know, it just remi it reminds me of a lot of like the, the vampires that I watch in, you know, the TV shows or movies. Um, this is like, yeah, that type of shade. And, um, wow, it looks very different seeing it in the tube and then open opening it and seeing it on the applicator. It looks very, very brown, like I said, like an orange brown in the tube but then on the applicator it looks very berry um, and then applying it it looks it's like a dark dark berry color it's so pretty but I feel like this doesn't really suit me I don't know I could be wrong what do you guys think I tend to kind of um, shy away from these types of shades just because I feel like they don't compliment me and I feel like it's really hard to pull off these colors but yeah I mean it's really pretty um might be it might be my least favorite to be honest with you guys just because like I said I feel like it doesn't come I feel like it doesn't compliment me that's the only reason why I would say it's my least favorite I feel like on maybe like a different person it might look better but on me 
I'm not really digging it. Um, so I have to say this is definitely so far my least favorite. Um, I still like it. I just, I just wish I could like it on me. <clears throat> so again, this was LAX. And I'll go ahead and swatch it. And the, the shade just changes so much from wet to dry. You know what I mean? Like, so this is what it looks like on my arm. I hope I didn't do a horrible job swatching it, but you guys can even tell it's like I said, it's a very, a whiny, definitely a deep wine color. So that is LAX. Whew, that was really hard to get off. <laughs> I really had to just scrub and force, put some force in it. But <clears throat> um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Limbo. Here is Limbo. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging. <clears throat> Here's Limbo. This is another one that looks more in the, you know, burnt orange, brown, um, family and I could be wrong but this is just what it looks like in the tube looking at it from the outside okay so let's go ahead and give it a shake and let's apply limbo okay so I can tell that limbo is going to be in the brown family it's going to be like in the cappuccino, mocha, you know, ish. And again, I feel like, you know, the intensity can definitely be um, varied depending on if you're doing it with a light hand or whatever. But let's go ahead and apply limbo to the lips. This is really pretty. And I can definitely see myself wearing this shade. Um, the darker colors are definitely harder to apply just because they are darker and you have to just be very, very light handed. Um, but this is a very pretty shade and I would not mind wearing this at all and I wouldn't be afraid to wear it either. <clears throat> but this is Limbo. So pretty. It's so, so, so pretty. Here it is swatched and you can definitely see the difference. This is almost like a, um, you know, like the bark of a tree type of brown. I mean, I guess that does change depending on the tree, <laughs> but it's really pretty and it's brown. It's so, so pretty. But again, this is Limbo. Okay, guys, um, I thought LAX was hard to scrub. No, 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 no. Limbo was hard because it kind of felt like there was some slipperiness to it um, when I was using my makeup wipe remover to remove it. It just kept slipping off like it was not <laughs> removing. It was just slipping. So I definitely feel like I feel like the formulas do differ from shade to shade, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. But um, I, I'm going to be um, moving on to Lumiere. This is Lumiere 2 and um, go ahead and take it out okay okay so this is Lumiere 2 this is so pretty um, definitely in the looking at it from the tube again <laughs> um, and it looks like it's definitely in the pink mauve tone family um, well, let's go ahead and open it give it a shake ooh, ooh what is that glitter I have no idea how glitter got on there okay ooh this is really pretty <laughs> as are the other hundreds oh yeah this is gorgeous this is gorgeous okay this is what it looks like swatched it's definitely like I said in the pink mauve family um, <clears throat> I feel like it has like a very solid mauve pink tone to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it.
wow this is a very beautiful color um i like this color actually this might be in my top faves um so pretty i can't decide actually which color is I consider it to be like my top like if I had to narrow it down to like my top five I'm sure within the next few months I'll be able to tell you guys more or next few weeks but <clears throat> because this is day two excitements like right here still <laughs> um this is very very beautiful I will say that I will say that I'm digging this shade I could see myself wearing this a lot so yeah this is Lumiere 2 I just forgot to mention something really quick. I feel like Lumiere also has like a hint of like purpleness to it. Um, I noticed that as I was looking in the mirror and it's just starting to dry up a little bit more, less liquidier, less liquidy and more dry on the lips. It definitely has a hint of purple to it. So just wanted to throw that out there really quick. Okay guys, so next up we have Midi. Here's Midi. My lips are starting to get really irritated. Ooh, here is Midi. Midi is definitely a very, very um, light nude pink shade. I can just tell from looking. I'm gonna shake it and, okay, it's not, um, we'll find out I guess when I swatch it, but I was gonna say it's not as light as I thought it would be, but it's still wet on so we'll just give it some time to dry up but let's go ahead and try it on mm. <laughs> this might be my least favorite <laughs> mm. I definitely feel like um my feelings might change you know but as of right now this is why I don't like doing first impressions but my first impression of this shade is that it's way too light for me it looks probably worse on camera than it does in person I will say that on camera it just looks like it could be a little more streaky looking and um just like not right <laughs> i don't know but on camera it definitely doesn't look good it doesn't suit me in person um it doesn't look that bad but it definitely does not suit me still um unless i decide to like i said pair it up with another shade or pair it up with a lip liner but you know i mean not my favorite but you know not horrible you know what i mean like it's not that bad but it's not that great so <laughs> that's what I would kind of rate it as. But this is midi. I kind of want to add another layer just to see if maybe that'll make a difference. So I felt like it was a little too sheer. But no, um, I don't think that really made a difference. <laughs> so letting it dry because they look so different once they dry like completely just testing it out to see if there's any stickiness and there isn't okay so this is midi um with the second layer it doesn't look that bad um but i would still again it's still too too light for me um so yeah this is midi okay guys so i will be moving on to solo solo however you want to pronounce this <laughs> so let's go ahead and take out solo Ooh, this is very much so in the pink family. Um, let's give it a shake. Yeah. 
and let's open it. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I don't know why I smelt it. They all smell kind of the same. Oh yeah. Um, this one dried a lot quicker. It's still not, you know, didn't completely dry, but I noticed that this one is not as liquidy. Um, you can really see the difference with it next to Midi. Midi is more of like, that, like I said, like that um, light pink nude. Um, it's not the lightest of the pink nudes, but it's definitely in that um, range. Um, as far as solo or solo, it's definitely more in the, oh man, how would I describe this? More in the mobby, rosy, pink um, family shade. But let's go ahead and try it on the lips. Oh, I actually might need to go in for some more. Yeah, this one is definitely a lot more drying, like quickly drying, um, than a lot of the other ones. I just noticed that like I had to just keep going in for more product. So this is solo, solo. Um, I think that's a great description of how I categorized it. It's definitely like in the pink mauvey um tones um almost almost like a uh like a rose tea kind of shade but more pinkier so yep this is it still very pretty i don't feel like this one would i don't know i feel like it has to do with the formula i was gonna say it doesn't compliment me like i think this shade does compliment me but um there's something about this shades formula that is more drying i think it's a lot tougher to just apply because it does dry on a lot quicker it could be just the one i got um i don't know i feel like there's a few things that go into it i did notice that um the little stopper thing on the inside the stopper in there is just there's a lot more control whenever i'm uh taking the product out or taking the applicator out to apply it onto my lips i noticed that i have a lot more control than the other ones and again that could be different formula some could be a lot more you know liquidier um others could be less oh, i don't really know but it's very weird <laughs> so um i will be moving on though swatched on the arm here is solo solo the last one right there Okay guys, so there's only two more left. I have Teeny Tiny and Trap left to try on and swatch for you guys. So let's go ahead and start with Teeny Tiny. So here is Teeny Tiny and wow. Um, I would say this definitely has like a hint of like the, it's definitely in the mauve pink brown. <laughs> I definitely feel like it has like a hint of like uh, brownness to it and let's go ahead and shake it I'll swatch it first on my arm and then apply it to the lips oh yeah um, I definitely say a hint of brown and a hint of some sort of like brown gray undertone to it but it's very pretty and right up my alley and let's go ahead and apply it sorry guys my camera stopped recording because my memory card got too full so I had to take it out delete a few things and then put it back in hopefully we should be all good but um, I left off with solo and that is what I still have on my lips I added a second layer because I felt like I don't know I felt like something was missing I don't know if it was like 
uh, it needed time to just dry more or if it was sheer, I don't know. I just felt like something was missing and I just needed to add a second layer. But I went ahead and did that. So this is what it looks like with two layers on dried. Mm. It's really, really pretty. Um, I would definitely consider this to be in like the plummy mauve family. I feel like there's a hint, like a very, very slight hint of brown um, undertone to this. But that's kind of how I would describe the shade. Very, very beautiful. Definitely right up my alley and um, consider myself, I would consider myself to pick this one up in the future to wear. So this is what it looks like swatched on the arm. Okay uh -huh. guys, as much as I love doing swatches, try on, reviews, I'm glad that we're down to the very last one, which is Trap. My lips are so irritated. <laughs> They're so red, they just can't handle the rubbing and you know. But um, moving on to the very last one and Trap is what we will be swatching and trying on. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm going to shake it first. Um, this is Trap and this definitely looks like, it's definitely in the nude, um, I don't know. It looks pink but it looks like it could be something else. So <laughs> let me go ahead and swatch it first because it's really tricky to tell what it's like in the tube. Ooh. Ooh, this is pretty. I like this one. Um, again, this is Trap and I would definitely wait till it dries so I can tell you guys my official thoughts as far as um, tone and shade. Uh, so let me go ahead and try it on lips. Okay, so I really like this one because I feel like it has a very nice balance between, you know, like that, um, I don't know, like the brown family and the mauve family. Um, I feel like it has a little bit of a hint of like a beige to it but I like the fact that whatever shades you know involved to create this overall shade I feel like it's like the perfect balance of a beautiful nude mauve tone I know that was a lot but um, this is definitely in my favorites <laughs> that's what I have to say but I always do that because I always feel like I need to see if it's sticky or not. Very, very beautiful. I can't stop looking at the shade in the mirror. The mirror is right behind my camera. So very, very gorgeous. Um, I don't know. I just really like this one. I feel like it's just, like I said, it just has a perfect balance um, of tones to create the ultimate tone. What tone is that? Oh no, <laughs> but it's beautiful. <laughs> so, it's still purple, it's still mauve, it's still, you know, nude, but it's definitely very matte, hence the name. But I like this one, I like it a lot. It doesn't make me feel like I need to add a second layer. I mean, if you, if I did, I feel like, you know, it would just make it stand out a little bit more. But um, other than that, I love the shade. So this is Trap. It's right there. You guys see why it's a little difficult for me to explain this one because I feel like it has a little bit of pink, a little bit of mauve. I feel like a lot of the colors that I chose kind of fall in that category um, but kind of don't, you know what I mean? Like there's something different about each shade that make some different even like this one kind of looks like this one but not really because when I look at it in person actually they do kind of look like but um this one is a little bit more darker so and that's it those are all the shades 
So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of jump into the conclusion of this, but I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some water because I'm really thirsty and my throat is so dry from talking. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I just went to grab some water because my throat was getting a little itchy and dry. And um, I guess I want to wrap this video up with just telling you guys a few things that I noticed yesterday. So yesterday I went to work and I wore Kapow all day. It's such a beautiful gray tone, taupey, purpley color. Um, anyways, um, I wore that shade to work yesterday and um, the first thing that I did was I went into the bathroom. I can't remember. I was trying to wash my hand and um, first thing I did is I put water on my arm because I thought maybe water would just take it off and um, water definitely didn't do it but I decided to just take my two fingers and just go down like that because I wanted to see if maybe it'll rub off and um, so the shades did get on my hand after you know rubbing it um, but the swatches still stayed in place which is great like you know the stain power on these um, liquid lipsticks are amazing they are beautiful I will definitely say that um, however I did notice a few things throughout the day when I was wearing Kapow so Kapow is very hey. um, I started to notice that the formula started to get just a little sticky a little tacky and um, just a little crumbly and when I say little I really do mean little but it did start to develop that um, later that night I did go out, um, I went out to eat and I ordered a uh, cold beverage, I just ordered water and I ordered um, a hot, um, um, something hot to eat, I ordered chicken pot pie and a chicken pot pie. <laughs> um, I was in the mood for chicken pot pie so I ordered chicken pot pie and um, the steam from the pie was so much that it actually caused the liquid lipstick to just basically disappear and not right away but of course as I started to eat the pot pie I figured that might be normal um, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys and let you guys know how it did um, you know throughout the day and then of course throughout the end of the night um, and how it did when I was eating um, I didn't eat earlier that day I mean I might have had like small things like you know uh, gum or something like that but you know not enough to just basically test it out um, so that was pretty much the end result of how that held up um, during the day and then of course when I was eating and drinking and I also noticed the um, lip color was transitioning onto the straw that I was drinking so I feel like you definitely need to keep this in your purse for any touch-ups that you may want to do um, but that's what I experienced and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I still really, really do love these um, ColourPop liquid lippies. I'm super still excited about them, um, and I can't wait to just keep wearing them. I, I might, I might want to order more. Um, there's just a few more shades that I want to try. Uh, as far as like sensitivity, I had no problem. Very, 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 very sensitive. Um, especially in my face area and I did not break out I didn't have any problems at all like that at all I didn't have any, any irritation if anything I did get a little irritated of course from rubbing them off after or between each um, shade but of course that is normal and my battery is about to die so that's why I'm trying to rush into this but um, anyways I was talking about the when I had uh, Kapow on yesterday I noticed that I just I don't know but I just kept going like this I just kept rubbing my hands my fingers um, against my lips and I did notice that the shade did transition onto my fingers so yes these are definitely very um, long-lasting they definitely stay put but I feel like as time just kind of goes on throughout the day your lips the warmth of your um, you know uh, there's warmth in your lips and I feel like with the temperature change um, like I said just go on like this or you know like licking your lips it does cause a little bit of um, change to the product as well. Um, the last thing I want to say is please make sure to remember to exfoliate your lips no matter what uh, brand if it's a liquid lipstick I feel like there's a bit of a trend with liquid lipsticks because they are liquid lipsticks they will you know um, you know uh basically show any imperfections on the lips if you have any dryness or flakiness 
or anything it will sink into the crevices if you don't exfoliate so always make sure to exfoliate yeah that's pretty much it that's the end of this review i hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything you guys want to know um anything extra just comment below and i'll try my best to um get back to you guys as soon as i can and um what else but, um, thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this full review try on kind of like an all-in-one and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye guys Mwah.